My name is Hallie Waters and I'm a pre-dentistry biology major here at Walsh University and I'm going to give you a tour of our academic facilities today. This is Farrell Hall. This is Walsh University's first and oldest academic building. This is named after Walsh University's first president and in this building we have classrooms, the library, the student service center, and the academic resource center. So let's go inside and check it out. Come on. Here we are at the Student Service Center, and this is where students go to register for classes, make payments on tuition, and sign up for financial aid. About 95% of the students actually receive financial aid here, so you can see it'd probably be a pretty popular place. Upstairs is the Academic Support Center, and there we provide free tutoring for any student here at Walsh. In the Academic Support Center, tutoring includes writing skills, test taking tips, and tutoring in various subject matters. Also, Walsh provides every student with an academic advisor, and your academic advisor can help you schedule classes, and if you don't know what your major is, they can help you find one that's really well suited for you. Here is the library, and the library is a great place to come and study, write papers, do research. In addition to all of the hardbound books, we actually have 70,000 ebooks, which is really nice because you can do research without even leaving your bedroom. Uh, my favorite place to study here is actually up in those quiet rooms because they're soundproof. Okay, so that was Farrell Hall, and now I'm going to take you across campus to go to the Altman Health Science Center. So come on, let's go. Here we are in one of the nursing labs and we have about 50 majors here at Walsh and nursing is definitely one of the most popular. These nursing labs are all brand new and they're made to simulate a real hospital environment. So when they graduate they're all really prepared for their jobs and Walsh actually has the highest uh, passage rate for the state licensure exam. Here we are in Tinkin Health Science Center and as a pre-dentistry biology major I basically spend all of my time in here. Um, right now I'm actually standing right outside the bioinformatics lab and this is a really new and exciting major here at Walsh. This field uses mathematics, uh, biology, and computer technology to kind of all roll into one field. And what students can do here is actually study uh, different molecules and the coolest part is, is you can put on little 3D glasses and view them three-dimensionally when using the computer programs. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and take you into one of the chemistry classrooms with Dr. Dunphy. Hey, Dr. Dunphy, how are you? Hi, Alec. Good to see you. We're uh, doing some complex equilibria today, so... Oh, boy. Want a drink? <laughs> we're having some fun, so uh, most, of the, most of the last couple of weeks has been on equilibrium, so today we're going to actually look at uh, how those equilibria work. So this is... What is this stuff? Copper, Copper nitrate. So you know it's a, a soluble compound. Most of the transition metal elements have color, so copper usually has a blue color because of d-orbital splitting and such, so this is a soluble salt. So as you can see here at Walsh, science is really hands-on and I love it, uh, but I have more to show you, so let's keep going. This is the Barrett Business and Community Center, and it's the home for the School of Business. Um, we also have campus events here almost every day throughout the year, and uh, we have plenty of clubs and organizations on campus which actually host events here. One of the biggest clubs on campus is the Business and Communications Club, and they even hold their annual luncheon um, scholarship day here, and also we've had uh, comedians come in, musicians come in, anything, so we do a lot of stuff in this building that's a lot of fun. Here we are outside of Bethler Science Center and Pertina Counseling Center. Here, this house is our division of social and behavioral sciences, so we're going to have psychi psychology, sociology, and a lot of political science classes. Um, also, it houses our physical therapy program, and Walsh actually has a doctorate program, so a lot of students are going to go into that program after they get their bachelor's. And now we're going to go ahead across campus again, and we're going to see the education division, so let's go. Here we are now outside of the Hand and Child Development Center and this is the home for our education division. What's really cool about the education division here at Walsh is in addition to having the student teaching program, we also have pre-student teaching programs. So basically as student, soon as students get here, they can kind of start training early on in the classroom and 
decide if they really want to do it for the rest of their lives. Um, a lot of the students here actually also work with uh, enrichment programs for a lot of the schools in the area and specifically we work with St. Paul's uh, down in Canton and it's an after school program and these students are able to work with kids who wouldn't otherwise have any assistance so it's really good for them to work with these students. Now we're directly across the street from the main campus at the Hoover Historical Center. The Hoover Historical Center is an on-campus museum which showcases the history of the Hoover Company and it also showcases the history of Walsh University, so let's go check it out. It's really great that we have an on-campus museum here at Walsh because we now actually offer a museum studies major. Uh, what's really cool about this is we're one of the very few universities in the Midwest who offers this major. And actually we do have one of the majors here with us. This is Jeff. Jeff, what do you do here actually? We do a lot of wide range things. We do anything from giving tours, um, keeping things up to date around the museum. We research to keep to help keep us up to date. And this is actually my first full semester as a museum studies major and I absolutely love it. That's cool. It seems like a really cool major. Finally, I wanted to show you the center of campus because really Walsh is the perfectly convenient size campus. It's not too big, it's not too small. Um, actually here are all the dorms and I live over here in Brockler Hall and I've timed it where it only takes me seven minutes to leisurely walk to class. Uh, down here, here are all the academic buildings so everything's really close together. Uh, basically that concludes our academic tour so I really hope to see you next year. So thanks for the tour, bye bye. <laughs>